Greetings and welcome to a new video. I hope you are all doing well. This is a complete guide to the new Windrain 2.0 version which you can use to jailbreak iOS 15 or iOS 16 with Pelerin jailbreak. And you can also jailbreak iOS 12 any version with check rain using Windrain 2.0. The method shown in this video along with Windrain is lifetime free and legit. You will get the link to the WinRain 2.0 package somewhere in the description or in the pinned comment. For this video, we will be jailbreaking iOS 16.6.1 on this iPhone 8 Plus. I will show you both rootless and rootful methods. First of all guys, to use WinRain jailbreak, you will have to first install iTunes install itunes directly from the apple's website it is completely free if you did it from the microsoft store uninstall it and install it directly from apple you will see the link here these are official links also in the package you will find usb dk this file msi install it first to make the process error free it will run better without any error Simply double click and install it. After you install it, please restart the computer once. This is must. Alright, so guys, WinRain 2.0 looks like this. Also on your device, you will see this trust message. Please hit trust. And you will find your device here. So iPhone 8 Plus, iOS 16.6.1 connected in normal mode. You can see we have the latest version of pale rain as of now beta 7 and wind rain supports rootless jailbreak and rootful so first of all we will do the rootless method to show you that it works you see usb dk is installed you will see a check mark here now simply hit next also guys on a11 you will have to remove the passcode first so remove it and if you added a passcode in the past please reset your device you will have to erase and reset your device from here before you jailbreak or your device will panic and you will not see the loader all right now hit ok my device is entering the recovery mode now let's get it to dfu start just hold the buttons as shown you will see the load driver stage your device should now boot trigger stage your device will continue booting and all done you will see verbose on your screen once your device boots up you will see the palerin loader on your home screen let's open it please make sure that wi-fi is connected now from here you can install celio or zebra all right installing now simply set any passcode of your choice for using sudo so i will set a passcode close and you can see we have celio installed let's open it and i will quickly show you the version so you can see jailbroken on 16.6.1 rootless method using windows without using usb and anything and you can see in the rootless you can see everything works without any problem now to show you the root full method of the wind rain i will quickly revert this jailbreak this rootless jailbreak all right guys so i have reverted the rootless jailbreak now let's try the rootful hit done and then hit rootful first we will have to create the fake fs first so hit create fake fs then hit next okay your device will enter recovery mode hit start and get it to dfu by following the instructions you can see rootful and load driver stage please wait for it to finish the device boots up and it will start creating the fake fs now after a verbus on your device you will see 
copying files to fake fs so please wait here like 10 minutes to finish all right guys my device booted up after creating the fake fs you know that you will not see the loader yet so uh, first of all i will show you my space so to confirm that the fake fs is created so you can see the reduced space on my device now what you will do is hit done then hit root full then deselect create fake fs because we have already created it now hit next okay hit start to get it to the dfu by following the instructions on screen you can see rootful and the load driver stage and the progress the device is now booting and you will see all done you will see verbus now guys once your device boots up you will find the pale rain loader make sure wi-fi is connected you will see the package managers so let me install Cilio. one more thing guys if you still see errors while you are at the load driver stage or this does not work i made a complete solutions or fix video that video link is in the description and in the pinned comment all right set the passcode close you can see the Cilio package manager and it is working without any problem you can see the root full and gl broken on ios 16.6.1 iphone 8 plus so now it is jailbroken with root full method and everything works without any problem whatsoever now guys if you want to revert your jailbreak to stock or you want to remove the jailbreak you can simply hit done hit root full then select force revert and then repeat the process of jailbreaking and your device will be returned to the stock i just used the force revert feature from wind rain of the pale rain to revert my device to stock all right as you can see the fake fs is now removed and i gained space on my device as of the pale rain loader it will disappear once you restart your device and you will see this message that you use the force revert feature so now simply reboot the device and it will be gone now guys after a reboot you can see the parent loader is gone and once again i gained space so to prove that the restore fake fs option works lastly guys as i said you can use the check rain mode of the wind rain to jailbreak any ios 12 device or any ios 14 device so i have this iphone 6 on 12.5.7 so just select check rain from here then next your device will enter recovery mode hit start and simply get it into dfu all right guys as you can see cdi is installed on ios 12 without any problem so now i will quickly show you the version so iphone 6 ios 12.5.7 or you can jailbreak any version of ios 12 using this and it works without any issues everything is properly populated you can operate your packages from here and everything is good now guys after using winrain if you see that your drivers are messed up for itunes and it is not working properly you can simply head to windows update and here you will see a driver called apple usb device now simply install it and restart your device and everything will be okay sometime it does not even require a reboot that's all for this video 
if you still have questions you can always ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care